In this video, we're going to discuss in more detail a variation of SMOOT that is called Borderline SMOOT. Borderline SMOOT is a variation of SMOOT which creates the synthetic examples only from the observations in the minority class that are closer to the boundary with the majority class or classes if we have a multi-class classification problem. This is because the observations closer to the boundary are the ones that are hardest to classify, therefore we should augment this population mostly so that we allow the algorithm more examples to learn from and be able to discriminate the classes. Borderlines mode presents two variations to create the synthetic data, which we will discuss in the following slides. We can summarize how borderlines mode works in the following steps. First, it will train a k nearest neighbor algorithm utilizing the entire dataset, that is, the dataset that contains both the majority and the minority observations. Then, there are two things that SMOOT will do as part of its logic. First, it will find and ignore all the observations from the minority class if all of their neighbors belong to the opposite class, and this is because borderline SMOOT considers these samples noise and therefore irrelevant for the classification problem. It will also find and ignore all observations from the minority class if most of the neighbors are also from the minority class because it thinks that these samples are easy to classify and therefore we should not be focusing on this population. So what the algorithm does in particular is to select the observations from the minority class if most of their neighbors are from the majority class. These are the ones that are going to be used as templates to create the synthetic observations. And how are the synthetic observations created? Well, there are two variants, as I said. The first variant will fit a different KNN algorithm now utilizing the observations from the minority class, all of the examples, and then it will interpolate synthetic data just as SMOOT the same mechanism that we described a few videos ago, but only between the observations from this danger group, the ones that were surrounded by neighbors from the opposite class mostly, and its neighbors from the minority class. The second variant will make a combination. It will interpolate only from the danger group to neighbors from the minority class, as we described in SMOOT and also in the variant 1, but it will also create some synthetic data by interpolating from the minority class in the danger group to neighbors of the majority class. But this interpolation will be made with a shorter distance from the observation of the danger group, and we will see how it works in the coming slides. Let's work through the logic with a visual example to understand a bit better how borderlines mode works. We have the dataset with the majority and the minority class, and then it fits a KNN algorithm utilizing the entire dataset. With this KNN, we'll ignore samples from the minority class if all of its neighbors are from the majority class, like this example here. It will also ignore observations from the minority class if most of its neighbors are from the minority class, like this other example here. And then it will select a danger group, which are those observations from the minority class that have the majority of neighbors from the majority class, like this example here. So borderlines mode selects a group of observations from the minority class if the majority of their neighbors belong to the opposite class, which are the orange examples that I highlight here in this plot. With this, it will then train another KNN algorithm only utilizing the samples from the minority class, and this is to be able to find the neighbors to this danger group. And now, in the variant 1 borderlines mode, it will determine the synthetic examples just as we described for normal mode. 
The new example is given by the original sample, which in this case is one of the orange samples from the danger group, minus a factor that is a value between 0 and 1, times the sample from the danger zone, minus the neighbor, which in this case belongs to the same minority class. It may or may not be a sample of the danger zone, but it is a sample from the minority class. And if here we have some numerical examples, we replace these examples in the formula, just as we did with SMOTE, and then we obtain the synthetic example that is placed here. The variant 2 creates synthetic examples by extrapolating between samples in the danger zone and some samples from the minority class, just like variant 1 and SMOTE, and also will create synthetic examples by extrapolating between the sample from the danger zone and a neighbor from the opposite class. But here there is something different. The formula is identical. The new sample is given by the sample from the minority class in the danger zone times a factor, but the factor here takes values between 0 and 0 0.5 not 0 and 1 like previously, just between 0 and 0 0.5, and this way it guarantees that the synthetic value will be closer to the observation from the minority class than to the neighbor from the opposite class. And the rest of the formula is identical. The original sample is the sample in the danger zone, and here the neighbor belongs to the opposite class. So we have these two numerical examples here, and we replace all these values in the formula, we obtain the synthetic value that, as you can see, is placed closer to the original minority class example from the danger zone. We can apply borderline SMOTE with imbalance learn, utilizing the borderline SMOTE class. We need to set the sampling strategy to auto to sample the minority class only, random state for reproducibility. M neighbors refers to the neighbors to determine the danger zone. And then K neighbors are the neighbors to find the neighbors from the minority class in the second steps. And then in kind, we can determine if we're going to use the first variation or the second variation of borderlines mode. With this, let's go to the Jupyter Notebook and look at the Python implementation.